Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is two large populations of horses are being systematically crossed mares from one population bred to stallions of the other and vice versa coat color is not a factor in determining which animals are selected and which individuals matings are made. Frequencies of coat color genes at the C locus are as follows as you see in this table what will be gene and genotypic frequencies at the C locus of the offspring in F1 population. And gene frequencies here means allelic frequencies. One more note before I will show you a solution. I want to get right of these letters here. These letters doesn't add anything to our calculations, just make them more complicated. So we have basically dominant allele and recessive allele C in locus C and we have one population and population two and frequency of the dominant and recessive allele in this population is different. So if we cross these two populations, what new frequency of these two alleles we expect in the F1 generation. And in order to solve this problem, we are going to use simple Punnett square. So population one would be here and population two here on the top. And now uh, we have two alleles, dominant allele C and recessive allele C in population number one. And we also have dominant allele C and recessive allele C in population number two. Now let's build simple Punnett square. So here's our Punnett square. And inside this Punnett square are going to be frequencies of the generation uh, F1. So, for example, in the first cell, let's put two dominant allele C and frequency in the uh, population one of the dominant allele is 0 0.8. So let's put 0 0.8 here and of the recessive allele, it's going to be uh, 0 0.2. So let's put 0 0.2 here and frequency of the dominant allele in population two is 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 and frequency of the recessive allele is 0 0.7 in the population two, 0 0.7. So the frequency of the dominant homozygous dominant genotype in F1 generation is going to be 0 0.8 times 0 0.3 and we are going to get frequency of 0 0.24. In Excel we have heterozygous genotype and dominant allele C comes from population number one and recessive allele C comes from population number two with a frequency of 0 0.7. So basically we have to multiply frequency of the dominant allele 0 0.8 by frequency of the recessive allele in the population number two, which is 0 0.7. And the frequency of this genotype is going to be 0 0.56. In this cell, we also have heterozygous genotype, but take a look. Dominant allele comes from the population number two and frequency of this allele 0 0.3 and recessive allele comes from population number one and frequency of this allele is 0 0.2. 0 0.3 times 0 0.2 is going to be 0 0.06. And in the last cell, we have genotype which is homozygous recessive, small c, small c, and each recessive allele come from one from uh, population one, which is 0 0.2, and another from the population number two, and frequency of the second recessive allele in this population is 0 0.7. So 0, 0 0.2 times 0 0.7 is going to be 0 0.14. So 0 0.14. So this is frequency of the genotypes in F1 generation. We have three genotypes homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. And let's 
put frequencies here. So homozygous dominant genotype frequency is 0 0.24. So 0 0.24. Frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 0 0.56 plus 0 0.06, which give us 0 0.62. So 0 0.62. And frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype in F1 generation is going to be 0 0.14. Now when we add all the three frequencies of three genotypes, we should get one. Take a look, 0 0.24, plus 0 0.62 is going to be 0 0.86 plus 0 0.14 and we are going to get 1. So we have only 3 genotypes in F1 generation and when we add all these frequencies we get 1. So our calculations are correct and we have found uh, an answer to the question uh, find genotypic frequencies at the C locus in the F1 generation. But now let's find gene or allelic frequencies in this F1 generation. So how we are going to do it? Take a look. We have two alleles here. Those three genotypes but only two alleles. Dominant allele C and recessive allele C. Just let's add these frequencies. So let me put parentheses here and we will answer second question. So as you see, heterozygous genotype consists of two alleles, dominant and recessive. That means that half of this number we can add here and half of this number, which is recessive allele C, we can add here in order to find frequency of the alleles. So take a look. Half of 0 0.62 is going to be 0 0.32. We add here and Another half of this number of this frequency is going to be again 0 0.32. We add here and frequency of the dominant allele, frequency of the dominant allele C is going to be 0 0.24 plus 0 0.32 is going to be 0 0.56. 0 0.56. And the frequency of the recessive allele is going to be 0 0.14 plus 0 0.32 is going to be 0 0.44. So small c frequency is 0 0.44. Again, when we add frequency of these two alleles, dominant and recessive, we are going to get 1, which equals to 100%. As you see, we gave an answer to our two questions. We have to find frequency of the alleles dominant and recessive in F1 generation and this is the answer and we have to give an answer to the frequencies of the three genotypes in F1 generation and here is the answer. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.